calling you. Pick up the phone. Jerry, Jerry, pick up the phone. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> hey, are you here to see Jerry? Yeah, but he's not picking up the phone. Jerry, I'm downstairs. You can come down now. Huh, that's, that's funny. Jerry didn't tell me you'd be joining us. I'm not. Today was supposed to be my day with Jerry. Do you know if he's up there? Uh, no. I, I tried to buzz him, but I think it's broken. He said he was going to meet me here. Well, he's not answering his phone. Are you friends with him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm friends with Jerry. Oh. He's calling now. Oh. Hey. Hey, Jerry. I, I'm downstairs. You coming down? What's the deal with ties? I mean, it's just a simple strip of fabric, but they make putting it on so complicated. Okay, all right. Yeah, see you in a second, Jerry. <laughs> hmm, so weird. Jerry and I were supposed to go to a cafe. Yeah, well, I already ate a whole bunch of soup, so I couldn't eat anything else. Plus, me and Jerry have a really full day. I guess we'll figure it all out when he gets down here. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm calling him. Hey, Jerry, it's Victor. Um, uh, you coming down soon? Oh, yeah. I'm on my way. It's just, what's the deal with deadbolt locks, huh? I don't want anything dead in my door. It's way too spooky. Uh, hey, hey, Jerry, it's Aaron. I think we were supposed to meet today. Oh, yeah, Aaron. I'm zipping down in a jiff. It's all these super scary locks on my doors making me so much time shuddering and fright is all. You two just wait there. Are you coming to the zoo with me and Jerry? I never spoke about that. Why is he so afraid of his lock? I guess we'll ask him when he comes down. Are you gonna call him again? Why? He said he's coming down. Why did they call them deadbolts? It's too spooky. Jerry! Hey, Jerry! Yeah, Jerry, it's Victor. Are you coming down? Yeah, sure. Sure I am. I'm coming down. Who said I'm not coming down? I'll be right there. Jerry, you're taking a really long time. What's the deal with making a quiche? What even is a quiche? It sounds gross. It doesn't sound right. Jerry, you're making a quiche right now? It's Jerry, if you don't get down here soon, the zoo is going to close. It's almost there, I'm telling you. We're going to miss our big day, Jerry. I turn the oven up to 450. It should be only 30 more minutes. You know what? I'm just going to go. You and Victor, just have a great day. No, wait. Don't go. I'm not going to be sitting around here all day waiting for you, Jerry. You said you are going to come down in a second half an hour ago. Whatever, Jerry. Uh, hey, I, I think I'm going to. You too, Victor. Well, you failed my test. And Jerry, die. come on, man. Oh, tell you what, what's the deal with me coming down and kicking your fucking ass? That's what. You two stay right there. So, are, are we just going to stay here and wait for Jerry to come down and fight us? I mean, yeah, I, I, I think I can take them. Yeah, me too. Guess he's not coming down. Yeah, I guess not. Should we, should we fight each other? I don't know about that. You know what? Let's just forget it. Looking for Jerry, are you? Huh? Let me tell you something. I've been waiting for Jerry for 20 years. A lot of people come in and out of this apartment building. None are this supposed Jerry. Some people say he's made up, that his apartment and his words and his thoughts are all a fabrication of some elite coterie of designers and pretenders. But no, they're fools. He is here. I know it. 
and I will be here when he comes down. Yeah, all right, crazy guy. Yeah, I'm, let's just go. Where are you gonna go? Well, we failed our only mission, to hang out with Jerry. Now we don't have any other choice. We're gonna cease to exist. Hey guys, I, I know Jerry's not here yet, but we're just we're just gonna wait like a couple more hours just just in case he shows up. I'm sure he'll be here. Just stay seated and silent. 